Hello everyone, today we shall discuss how to build an IR obstacle sensor without using Arduino or any microcontroller. In this project, we are going to make a simple obstacle sensor without using any microcontroller. Obstacle sensors have many uses, since we are not using any microcontroller, so this project is cheaper also, most importantly we can extend this project to fire alarm systems etc. The only thing we have to do is to change the sensor. To make this product TTTTT we should have the following components. Point 1. Breadboard 2. IR sensor 3. NPN transistor 4. Resistor 300 ohm, 10k ohm, 5. Buzzer 6. LED 7, 9 VDC battery 8. Jumper wire and sensor sensor. Are there are 3 pins VCC, GND and out. Out pin sends logic high plus 5 volts when IR detects any obstacle and it sends logic low 0 volts when does not detect any obstacle. To use the IR sensor we connect R to the positive terminal of the battery. The 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 in GND pin the 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 Positive and negative rail is the topmost and bottommost rows of breadboard. Step 2 Take the NPN transistor and place it on the breadboard. Take a look at the transistor and note which pin is the base, emitter and collector pin. Step 3 Connect the emitter of the transistor to the ground or negative rail of breadboard where the negative terminal of the very is connected. Step 4 Conf the IR sensor to the positive and GND pin to the negative rail of the breadboard. Connect out pin of sensor to the base of the transistor but in between the base and out pin of sensor connect resistance a value 10k dot for this one end of resistance is connected to base of the transistor and the second end of the resistor is connected to out pin of sensor. Step 5, take a lead, take 330 ohm, 330 minus 10,000 hectometers, resistor. Connect LED's anode pin to one end of the resistor. Connect the second end of the resistor to the positive rail of the breadboard, and the cathode pin of lead to the collector of the transistor. Similarly connect the positive side of buzzer to postpone the veil of the breadboard, and the negative side to the collector of the breadboard. Note, in the diagram shown we connected the positive pin of the battery to the VCC of the sensor and the GND pin of the sensor to the negative pin of the battery, and we connected the collector of the transistor to VCC separately. But on the breadboard connect all positive pins to the positive rail of the breadboard and the negative or ground pin to the negative rail battery so that we have to use only one battery. I have connected the emitter with a resistor, you can skip this step connect directly to the ground to the emitter, I hope you found it interesting. Thank you and have a wonderful day.